day on day. Hey, Hyundai on day. Hyundai on day, Babon. Ah, boy. Ah, and boy on the. Yes, I guess. No, I do Is that how you say it? Not auto? For and you? Uh-huh. Or so am I, so am I. Like, and me, yeah. Because not, um. So I was asking you and you. So I would say, ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, let me see. Uh, I think we still have people logging in, so I'm going to um, go on mute for just a couple of minutes, um, and we'll see who joins us, So, and then we'll get started in about five minutes, so. Oh. All righty. Welcome. Uh, Tim, I see you twice, so hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, I hear you. Let me um, log off one of them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause the recording uh, for when we get started. So be about um, five minutes. Let's see who else joins us. I got a couple messages. People are logging in. Over 45 years and taking a toll on my body. I take on day, on day, Bob Bong. Oh. 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 Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. Good to see everyone. Uh, we have, uh, I see Grandma Martha Nell and Grandma D here with us. And I know that uh, Grandma Dorothy and Miss Marion also said that they wanted to join. So they'll probably be logging in as well. Um, although uh, it is Grandma Dorothy's birthday. So chances are her uh, kids took her out. <laughs> so she could watch the recording. <laughs> And there's Miss Velma. All right, awesome. Um, so let me, uh, we can go ahead and uh, get started. Hi, Miss Velma. All right. Hello. Hey. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we'll get started and then we'll go over the agenda for tonight. So um, let's start off with the opening prayer. Um, Grandma D, they don't say. They want to get all the chains on the dog. God's going to get it in my hand, but they're more screaming because they're saying, because so they don't get dog, and I'm going to put them dog. I'm going to get time to have a goat on them. So they can have a dog. Pain though, they big big tired of go back home. They all they go to the door, they wonder how you get signed, get all dog, they hate doing more good dog, stay in high, you know. Are you confident your daughter? Your daughter can sound it. I hope. Amen. Oh. I hope. I hope. Awesome. Uh, let me pull up our, let me find it, the syllabus. Um, so I sent a really long email. So thank you to those of you who read it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know it's a lot. Um, so basically what we uh, talked about um, last week is uh, we talked about how um, we want to really focus on more um, conversational Kiowa and like really having like actually talking with each other. And I also know that's what our elders like have been wanting us to do is talk to each other. So um, we thought uh, one of the ways to do that would be to meet every week. And we wanted to use this Wednesday time since 
people kind of have it on their calendars. Um, and we want to use uh, the University of Oklahoma text, the course packet from 2020. So um, it has uh, 14 lessons. And at the end of each lesson is, uh, it's called an oral quiz practice. And so what we want to do is basically uh, spend time um, and hopefully our elders can you know, say the phrases for us and then we can all practice saying them. And then we'll actually have a conversation with each other using those oral quiz practice kind of scripts. And so I was being very ambitious and decided to try to see if we can get the first two lessons uh, get through the first two lessons today. Um, and it's pretty basic stuff, but we just want to practice as we know when we're learning, you know, and speaking and trying to like internalize our language, it takes about 400 times to say one thing in order to like internalize it. So that's uh, kind of what we want to do. Um, another thing that we're going to do, so we're going to have these sessions every week, except for the week of March, I think 16th, which is like spring break ish. Um, and then we'll go all the way through May till the end of May. And we'll see where we're at. And hopefully for those who want to pursue credentialing uh, through the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board for level two, we'll be prepared to do that by the end of May. Um, that's kind of one of the goals. And because we know for level two, um, it's a little bit more intensive as far as carrying on conversations, being more familiar with the grammar and that type of thing. Um, so another thing that we wanna try is every few weeks, we want to try an immersion session. Basically at the um, end of our class, our classes, we shorten them to 90 minutes instead of two hours. But for our immersion sessions, and they're on the schedule, um, we wanna add an extra 30 minutes to, to see if we can go for 30 minutes um, using the language that we have been practicing over the previous four lessons um, to use to talk to each other during an immersion session. So that's our goal. And hopefully um, our, our mentors can, you know, kind of grade us and give us feedback and let us know like where we need to improve and if they can actually understand us and that type of thing. So that's, those are some of the things we talked about last week. Um, so. What does everyone think about that? <laughs> Let me share my screen. So we'll start on lesson one on page 29, like, or? Oh. Oh. Um, and I did, um, so one of the requests was to um, put the lessons, like break them down because that course packet is like 300 something pages. And we wanted to make it more manageable. So those of us, like if we have the ability to print it, we can print it if we want. So I split it down into chapter by chapter. So I emailed uh, chapter one and chapter two um, over the weekend. So hopefully um, you have a chance to take a look at it. Um, so this is the syllabus, um, which I'm sure you guys probably all read. Um, Here's our little agenda of kind of how things are going to go in our sessions. Um, we'll go over the lesson. We'll have a conversation practice using that lesson. And then we'll get feedback um, and also ask, you know, our mentors to share any additional reflections they have. Um, and then we set aside time every session for anyone to ask um, for translations for from our, our mentors. Um, and then we'll talk about what's coming up next, and then we'll wrap up and do our closing prayer. Um, we also, um, I added on the 8 to 8.30 um, portion so that you could see kind of what an agenda might look like for an immersion session, um, which don't worry, we're not going to start right off the bat with immersion. Um, that will be in a few weeks. And if you look at the schedule here, is this big enough for everyone? Do I need to make this bigger? Can you see it? I need it larger. Okay, let me see if I can. Yeah, that's okay. it. Awesome. Um, so let me go back up to the agenda here. Mm. So 
basic agenda, kind of similar to what we've been doing um, for the past several years. Um, but we want to do the opening prayer, look at the lesson, practice the conversational uh, practice at the end of the lesson, and kind of take turns pairing up and talking with each other. And then we'll get feedback from any of our mentors on the line. And then there'll be time for people to ask uh, questions and have, you know, if someone has like a translation that you're working on or you want to double check something. Um, and then we'll preview the next lesson and then we'll have our closing prayer and close up. And then for the emerging se immersion sessions, here's our possible agenda. So here's today. And today we want to look at lesson one and lesson two. And then next week, we'll do lesson three. And you'll see, like, it's, I, I, you're probably worried that we have two lessons that we're going to try, but I promise they're like really straightforward and you probably already know the language in the lessons. Um, and then in a couple weeks, so right here on Wednesday, February 15th is when we want to try to have our first immersion session. Um, so during the immersion sessions, we can kind of review the language that we've practiced over the previous four lessons. And then hopefully that will prepare us to have a lot of language to pick from for our immersion session. So that's, that's kind of the goal. And then you can just kind of see the progression of everything uh, up until May. Right. Hey, Judith, welcome. Hi. Hey, hey, We're just looking at the uh, syllabus and the agenda. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so that's the syllabus pretty much. Um, here's the email that I sent out. And again, our goal for this spring is to focus on helping us as language learners to become more proficient in conversational Kiowa um, and to really have opportunities to expand our skills um, and also to be able to make sure that we're uh, getting feedback from our mentors as well. Um, okay, let me scroll down here to the attachments. Um, okay, so we know the help phrases. Um, so we want to make sure we all are familiar and that we use the help phrases in our sessions, especially in our immersion sessions. Because when we get ready to do immersion, we don't want to speak English. We want to only stay in Kiowa. So the help phrases are going to come in handy, especially if we like blank out. Um, so let's practice using the help phrases. And we'll, we'll go over this. I'm just looking at the attachments really quick. So. Um, the next attachment is uh, the flyer um, with the meeting IDs for the Wednesday sessions and then also Sunday sessions. Um, so both sessions are pretty much open to the public, um, but it's just, uh, you know, as long as people understand that Wednesdays are going to be more conversational. And then Sundays are our usual uh, community sessions uh, where we learn different songs. We listen to the Kiowa Culture Program tapes and uh, work on transcriptions. Um, so that's um, still happening. And then I also um, put the pronoun charts in a separate file in case, I mean, many of you probably already have these printed off somewhere, um, but just in case so they're easy to find. And then here is lesson one. And yes, it's 14 pages, but it, the language in it is pretty straightforward, which we'll get to here in a second. Um, and then here's lesson two. And again, straightforward. When we were just doing our little greetings, we were using some of this language already. So feeling pretty confident in us. <laughs> um, and then the last attachment is the entire textbook, just in case you want to Download it, print it off, you know, whatever. Just, just know that uh, Dane has said it's okay for us to use this, but just know that this has not been updated and it's no longer really being used because they've kind of started using the PowerPoints more in the classes at OU. Um, but so basically there might be some errors in this textbook and we'll just, you know, 
have to have to just you know acknowledge that and then move on um but it is a very awesome resource and it's really comprehensive so um i wanted to make sure we included that that way you could uh have it handy uh just in case and it is also available all of these documents are available on um the Google Drive that is called um, Kiowa Language Resources, which I think all of you are a part of. So, and they're going to be in the um, Kiowa Language Resources and then in the Learn Kiowa folder is where all the notes and everything can be found for our sessions. And um, I put a link to the YouTube channel. These recordings will be posted on the learnkiowa.org YouTube channel as well. Um, so you'll be able to review them after later on. All right, so any questions? Okay, so should we uh, dive in? and see what we can learn today. Um, let me find what I did with the packets. There it is, lesson one and lesson two. Okay, so where would you like to start? Would you like to review the help phrases? I know last week we said that many of us are rusty from not having sessions for a while. And so we wanted to kind of get back in the swing of things. So where would you like to start? Do you want to start by looking at the help phrases? Uh, do you want to just dig right into the lesson? What would you like to do? Help phrases. Okay, let's go over the help phrases. Um, so let's see, for the help phrases, um, I'm going to ask uh, Grandma D and Grandma Martha Nell and Miss Velma. If you don't mind saying it, and then we could all hear and practice. Is that okay? Let me share my screen. All right. Okay, can you see it and is it big enough? Oh, oh okay. All right. Okay, ah, uh, cool. Let's start with the first one, which is when you want a direct translation. Um, Grandma D? Ah, uh, so I'm not done. <clears throat> Grandma Martinell? Looks like you're muted if you're able to. I said it, not even look down there. Okay. Ha, so I let down, yeah. Ha. Miss Velma? Ha, so I not down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Let's go down the line um, for our participants so we can all practice. Hot, so on a thong. Uh, Cricket, I see you next on my screen. Ah, uh, so on a thong. Oh, Judith. Hot, uh, so on a thong. Oh, Andrew. Hot, uh, so on a thong. Oh, Timothy. Hot, uh, so on a thong. Oh, Kathy. Hot, so on a Thank you. Uh, Ramon? Oh, it's a thong, yeah. Uh, Hyundai inside, though. Hyundai. Uh, I've heard it before as <clears throat> uh, hot so a uh, batong, yeah. What's, what's the difference between the two? I mean, I know you're both technically saying you, right? Like, how do you say a uh, and ba? Can you repeat the way that you've heard it one more time? Hato a batong, yeah. And the the a is nasalized. I heard it from coma. 
No, she said it was nasalized and. That's a good question. Um, do any of our uh, mentors want to address that? Have you heard it? Yeah, I've heard it before like that. And I think that's talking, you're asking that question to several people at one time. So that makes that plural, that pronoun. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So indifferent. Yeah. The other one is how would you say? And then if you put the bar in there, that's how would all of you say? Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -ho. Um, Courtney? Hi, so I know so, yes. Oh. Okay. Um, how did we sound? Any feedback for us? Good. <laughs> you all said it right. It was good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> uh -huh. um, okay, this one's a little bit longer. So there's two phrases in here that we'll be saying when our when we're lost or confused. Um Okay, we'll start again with Grandma D. On your how I go, your tongue. I'm sorry, my voice is not that strong. Anyway, on your how I go, your tongue. Oh, you sound good. You sound good. <laughs> Grandma Martha. Okay, on your how I go, your tongue. Oh. Ms. Belva? Hanya, Hanya, hi, go. Ya, ya, um. Oh. Okay. Hanya, hi, go. Ya, ta, um. Um, cricket. Hanya, hi, go. Ya, ta, um. Hanya, hi, go. Ya, ta, um. Oh. Uh, Kathy? On your high go, Andrew. On your high go, your town. Ah, Tim. On your high go, your town. On your high go. Oh, on your high go. Go. On your high go. Oh, uh, Ramon. On your high go, your town. And Courtney. On your high On your high go, your town. I'm gonna need that. Oh, did I get everyone? Is Carolyn with Grandma B? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Carolyn, uh, Carolyn, are you there? <laughs> Second one. Hi, Yan, hi, God. Yan, Tao. Not in yes. Okay. All right. I won't forget you. I'll, how about uh, Aunt Carolyn can go after me? Okay. Ha. Okay. All right. How'd we do that time? Medium. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. You guys did good. Yeah. Okay. And I know we've already kind of used this. I know Ramon just used this one, but uh, we'll just practice our pronunciation. Uh, so, Grandma D. Hande and Tsai Tha. Grandma Martha. Hande and Tsai Tha. Mrs. Velma. Hande and Tsai Tha. Oh. Hande and Tsai Tha. Aunt Carolyn. Hande and Tsai Tha. Hande and Tsai Tha. Tsai Tha. Tsai Tha. Tsai Tha. Oh, 
cricket. Hondam Sai Thoth. Judith. Hondam Sai Thoth. Oh, Kathy? Yeah. Hondam and Sai Thoth. Andrew? Hondam Sai Thoth. Tim? Honda and Sai Thoth. Ramon? Honda and Sai Thoth. Courtney? Um, all right. Any feedback for us? <coughs> that was good. That was clear. Give you a B. A. A plus. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're doing We're passing so far. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is when we want to tell something. So, uh, Grandma D. Grandma Martha? And Miss Velma? Honda and Dale Star. Honda and Dale Star. Aunt Carolyn? Honda and Dale Star. Hyundai and Tato. Hyundai and Tato. Hyundai and Tato. Oh, Andrew? Hyundai and Tato. Hyundai and Tato. Hyundai and Tato. Hyundai and Tato. Oh. All right. Any feedback? That's good. 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 <clears throat> okay. Um, so this is when you want something said again. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Grandma D? I'm always doing. Grandma Martha? I'm always done. And Miss Velma? I'm always done. Did I say it right, Dorothy? <laughs> I mean, Dolores? I'm always done. I'm always done. Done or done? Done. I'm always done. Done. Oh, I'm always done. Done. Yeah. Um, Hyundai inside though. Can we say it? Uh, does it mean the same if we say it both ways, like aim oi oi or aim oi thong? I don't What about Dolores? You know, the way the way I remember it is aim oi thong. I don't I don't know if that's correct or not, but that's the way I, I learned it. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know. Uh, no, the N is nasal. That word to say it again is doi. 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 It's like that the N sound is nasal at the end of it. And like coin. So, like he would say, um, I'm I'm Tozama. I'm don't, 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 don't. I'm don't. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should say I'm doing. Uh -huh. like slight in sound. Okay. Um. All right. Ready. Um. I'm oi doing. Aunt Carolyn. I'm oi doing. I'm always doing. And oh, Andrew said he had to run and do something really quick, so we'll go to Tim. I'm always doing. I'm always doing. And Courtney. 
am I going? Oh. All righty. Next word. Um, when you want to check if you're right or wrong. And I think this is one of those that uh, will help us not use the English question inflection tone when we're talking Iowa. Um, because we have to kind of break that habit in when we talk Kiowa to not put the question tone at the end of words. Um, so. Oh, uh, Grandma D? Hatsoha. Grandma Martha? Hatsoha. Hatsoha. Hot soul, 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 Oh, so, uh. so. And Courtney. Oh, so. oh. All right. And this one. When we didn't hear what was said or we misheard something, so we're double checking. Uh, Grandma D. Hi. Grandma Hi. Martha. Hi. Miss Selma. Hi. Hi. Uh, Aunt Carolyn? Hi. 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 Oh. Okay, um, let's do these last two. Um, but I have to run and get dinner out of the oven. <laughs> so um, who would like, Courtney, would you mind uh, facilitating for a minute? Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I gotta go. The timer just beeped. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let it burn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Grandma D, we'll start with. Hey, the great ball. Hey, the. Hey, the good here. Hey, the. Hey, the good here. Hey, the. Hate <laughs> Ramon? My bad, I thought you heard me. Hey, the goo here. Hey, the. Hey, the goo. Hey, the goo, y'all. Hey, the. Oh, Hoshona? Oh, hey, the goo, y'all. Hey, the. That is everyone, unless Andrew's back. Andrew, are you back? Okay. All right. 
estamos, va. Tamo ba. Tamo ba. Tamo ba. Tamo ba. Oh. Okay, let's do all of those. Share your screen, Courtney. Um, let me see here. I think so. And okay, I'm gonna try to. You cannot share screen while other participant is sharing. No. <laughs> okay, so we're set. <laughs> Any announcements? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ramon, do you have any announcements? Um. Not that I know of. Um, um, the Tulsa yeah. class has been, haven't been able to get on those. The Tulsa class? Mm -hmm. Oh, we just had it last night. The first one was last oh. night for this okay. uh, new semester. So we went over um, <clears throat> kind of like well, the the, less, the title of the lesson was uh, so like the food's ready. And then we just went over like uh, a couple of verbs like uh, all or um, ba and then did like salt, pepper, spoon, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. Are you hungry or have you eaten water? You know, I'm really hungry. Me not tall, hey mom. Me not tall, hey mom. Um, and then they would like to go over um, kinship terms. Actually, next, so it's gonna be we're gonna be doing that for probably like four sessions. Mm. Every other Tuesday, so that would be the next meeting is I think the seventh, February seventh, from six thirty to eight thirty. Um, you can either register through the library, um, like Tulsa County Library dot com slash events, um, and then God, you got to scroll all the way down to the bottom just to find the class um, in order to register for it, but. It closes um, the, at noon, the day of the class. Um, so like I said, it's every other Tuesday. So our next session will be February 7th, I believe. Um, and then we go until I think May 16th is when we, yeah. I think May 16th will be our last day for the semester. 
or uh, if you don't want to register through the website, um, you can just uh, let me know and I can send you the meeting ID. Ramon, what about the class that Lance White is doing at the Oh, at the Complex. AOA? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if it is a class. Um, I think what we would like to do as the program, um, and especially with that class, and we're, I know it might be once a month, but I'm hoping it can be more frequent. Um, but we want to be able to encourage um like language retention um and like more elders speaking um like kai would uh more often and then that kind of overflowing into the household and then especially whenever we start up community classes um just like being able to encourage overall community um engagement in the language but uh, I think it's kind of just everyone meets together and there might be like a topic and um, like everyone's encouraged to speak in Kiowa the whole time. Um, so I'm not sure how today went. Um, I know they were supposed to Facebook live it or something like that, live stream it, but uh, I didn't see it on there. And uh I think I'll we'll hear back from them tomorrow because <clears throat> they were there the rest of the day. But yeah, it was at two p.m. So oh, okay. Hey, uh, Ramon. Omaha. Ramon. One day. Can you put your email in the uh, chat so that way we can email you on that Tuesday class to get information? Oh. Also, uh, I did have a question just in general the whenever you're talking about the inflection in english like is that only found in the english language because like i've heard like people that speak other languages that um like give off that sort of reaction like an, inqu an inquisitive reaction like kind of in the same way that we say huh or like someone uh, from Japan might like have that same inflection, but they don't speak English at all. So like, I'm just wondering if, if it's a human re like reaction to not being able to hear, could you say like, you know, hi, or um, like if I wanted to say, is that it, ha over ha? I don't know, I'm just curious. That's a good question, Ramon. Um, I'm kind of curious. So I know like in Spanish, there's an inflection, but I don't know enough of Spanish. Like I can speak conversational Spanish, but I I'm not a fluent speaker. So I don't know if like the inflection is just something that, you know, is added by second language learners that are used to English or not. Like, like I know, like for instance, when you're asking um, uh, questions in Spanish, we tend to use inflection as well. Um, but that's a that's a good question, and it just makes me uh, makes me wonder um, also. Um, but I know that that's uh, I think a tendency is because for Kiowa, our question mark is the ha at the beginning of when we're asking a question and then because it's tonal if we use the wrong tone then we could change the meaning of what we're trying to say so i don't know those are just my thoughts but maybe uh i know uh andrew's a linguist <laughs> so he might have some thoughts on it when he gets back <laughs> that's a good question oh Let's ask, let's ask for Andrew's uh, opinion when he gets back. <laughs> okay. Awesome.
Um, okay, so done with help phrases. Everyone's good, comfortable with help phrases again. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, share my screen and pull up lesson one. Um, so this will be pretty uh, straightforward. So let's see, um, let's, let's look at the lesson and then we'll see what the best way to kind of say the words because here, I'll show you. Okay, so let's see, I know it's loading. So here's the first lesson. And so these are, so on this side on the left, whoops, left-hand column is the person, the first speaker. And then whoever they're talking to would say this response. Or if for instance, um, if you're the one responding, you would, this would be what you'd be responding to. Um, so before we go into the words, let's look at the lesson. Um, so after, so the first page is basically the, the vocabulary and the phrases that we need for this lesson is here on this first page. And then in um, the second page, we have a breakdown of the verbs, pronouns, nouns, adverbs, and any conjunctions. So the grammar um, where we get a breakdown and the definitions of each one. So that's that's helpful. And then we have the translations page on the third page. And so you have it, the phrase here in Kiowa, then you have the literal translation in English. So basically this is the word order in Kiowa. And then we have kind of what it translates to in English roughly, which is called a free translation. Um, so basically like kind of what it means in English. Um, but the, as many of us have learned, uh, we like this literal translation because it really helps us to understand how to think in Kiowa because we're actually looking at this literal translation is the actual word order. And then there's a section on common mistakes, which is pretty handy just, you know, to kind of, so I'd encourage everyone to just kind of read through this. Uh, it'll help kind of break things down a little bit further. I'm just going to scroll through it. And then there's some actual worksheets. So if you print it off, if you're the kind of person that wants to do worksheets, you know, you have some worksheets here if you want. But here's what we're interested in. We're interested in the oral quiz practice page. So in this gray box are the four phrases that we'll be focusing on and that we'll have to know the responses to. And then what we'll do is, so here's the layout, here's the conversation. Here's A is the first person, B is the second person in this one. Um, and then conversation uh, speaker A. So when you hear them say this, then what do you say to them? Like, what's your response? And then right here in this, uh, if you don't know, um, you would use your, a help phrase in there if you don't know something. Um, so that's the layout for lesson one. Um, pretty straightforward. So what I was thinking we could do is we could like, we could either split up into pairs or we could kind of randomly um, practice kind of going with like the first two people that I see on screen and then the next two people and the next two people. So what do y'all think? What makes sense to you? I like the first two people and just kind of go down the line like that. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let's go back up. Sorry for the scrolling. I'm gonna go back to the first page. Just click through it here so that we can hear the first lesson and hear the pronunciation. Um, so I guess for practice purposes, maybe we could just read through this whole first row. How does that sound? Okay. Um, so uh, let's see for our 
mentors. Uh, let's see, do we still have everyone? I see Grandma Martha Nell, Miss Velma, and Grandma D. Okay. So would you be able to do the same thing and just kind of pronounce this whole first row for us and then we'll repeat it? Um, because we need these these uh, words so that we can do the conversation. Do the first one, on the and bon. And go ahead and do the response also. So I know it sounds uh, no, oh, no, uh, or not. Uh, Aho. Uh, Grandma Martha? On the old name, boom. Ha, no, oh. Not, oh. Miss Velma? On the old name, boom. Ha, no, oh. Not, oh. Ha. Aho. Okay, so I'll go and then Aunt Carolyn and then we'll just go down the line again, like we did. On day on day and bon. Ha, no al. No zal. Al. Aunt Carolyn? On day on day and bon. Ha, no al. No al. No al. On day on day ain't bon. Ha, no auto. Ha, no saddle. On day on day ain't bon. Ha, no auto. No saddle. No. On day on day ain't bon. Ha, no auto. No saddle. <laughs> Oh, not at all. No, oh, not at all. Oh, um, let's see. Andrew still stepped away. So let's go to uh, Courtney. I see you next. And then I see Tim. <laughs> We're moving around. On day, on day, and bon. Ha, no, at all. Not at all. On day on day ain't bone. Ha, not all, not all. Oh, Ramon? On day on day ain't bone. Ha, not all, not all. Oh. Okay. Um, that was the first set of phrases. Um, any feedback? All right, let's go to the second one. Um, so again, so I think, uh, oh, there's Kimberly. Let me let Kimberly in the room. Um, so for learner purposes, it, it sounds kind of funny, but in order to get used to saying this phrase, um, the way it's structured here is you would hear, hey, guy, oi, well, thought, and then you would respond, ha. And then you'd repeat it back to the person that you that said it to you. Hey, got him. So that's for learners' purposes, um, just so we can like keep internalizing the words. But in reality, when you're talking with a speaker, you would probably just say "ha." Um, so that's just a when you see these brackets, it's kind of like that's for someone who's learning. It's not necessarily something you would use all the time in conversation in real life. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, welcome, Kimberly. So we're just practicing and we're on lesson one. So we're gonna um, have our mentors uh, say the pronunciation of, of the whole row and then we'll take turns repeating it. All right. Um, okay. Ah, uh, uh, Grandma D. Hey, go. I'm all a bone. Oh. 
Hega em oi bonta. Ha, hega em oi bonta. Hega Oh, um, did we lose? Oh, Tim. Oh, I thought I was after Courtney. Okay. Hey, go I'm on bone thaw. Oh, hey, go I'm on bone thaw. Oh, um, Ramon. Hey, go I'm on bone thaw. Oh, hey, go I'm on bone thaw. And Courtney. Wait, wait, I'm in class. Hagar and Oribanta. Hagar and Oribanta. And Kimberly, would you like to give it a shot? Hagar and Oribanta. Hagar and Oribanta. Oh. Oh. All right. So everyone keeps moving around on the screen. So I'm trying to. Uh, Keep track. Maybe I should type out all your names so we have it in order. Um, we get we got everyone right. Mm -hmm. I think okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now uh, let's see. So our next phrase, and if again, if you want to know the translation, so you can scroll down. Uh, to this one. Uh, eight thirty. Okay. So here's your translations. Um, so, not idle. Me also. Not idle is another way to say me also. Not me. No. So this is your translations. Mm -hmm. Let me scroll back up. Okay, so let's do uh, no, no, oh, oh. let's do all three of these in a row. So like this one, the top row, and then this one. So, um, Grandma D. No. I don't know. No, no, I'll. Oh. And then the bot, the one on the bottom, too. Oh. On day, on day. Day, on day. On day, on day. Day, on day. Hundred on day, day on day. Oh, what are you saying? I don't know what. what no, 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 no. Is there an error, a typo here? Like, no. Should we just? No, no, it's like a oh, no, 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 no. No, no, I'm oh. Okay. Um Grandma Martha. No, no, oh. Uh, no, no. Hunday only. I mean yeah, Hunday only. No, no, uh, no, no, I don't oh. Hunday only. Uh -huh. Oh. Um no, not idle. Oh, 
on day, on day. Aunt Carolyn? No, not on. Ha. On day, on day. No, not auto. Ha. On day, on day. Day, on day. No, not auto. Ha. On day, on day. Day, on day. No, not auto. Ha. On day, on day. Day, on day. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, let's see, who's after Kathy? I'm gonna write it in the chat so we have like the order for everyone, but I'm gonna go with the next person I see on the screen, which is Courtney. No, no, uh, ha, on day, on day, day, on day. And then I see Tim. No, no, I don't. Ha. One day on day. Day on day. Oh. Uh, Ramon? No, no, I don't. Ha. One day on day. Day on day. Let's see. And Kimberly. No, no, um, ha, on day, on day, day, on day. Oh, ah, who? On day. Okay, no. any feedback for us on, on these phrases here? Oh, good, good. I got a question. Um, There's stuff, and remember okay. way behind the bed. On day. The back so, so like the A-L on that, that oh, is it, you know, it's oh, cool. like I-D-L-E? Which one? The, yeah. the yeah, idle? Is, yeah. Is that like yeah. I D L E idle? I mean, I don't worry. I, I can't. Where are you getting the idle? The like the D sound. The L. So there's something um, interesting with Kiowa with the L. So we don't have the sound L in our language like we didn't. Um, I think the only word that starts as an L is. Lay, what is it lay on it's like the Kiowa version of lion of the word lion um so when we say l it's like we over pronounce it because l comes oh, after oh. a vowel and if you try to say a vowel with l after it it rolls the l kind of so it makes a d sound and some Kiowa speakers have a really pronounced rolled l sound um I roll my L because that's how my I heard my grandma say, you know, all of her. She would always say the the D the L, D, like idle, idle. It sounds like there's a D in there, um, and so that's how I try no, to. I, 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 I. No, I. No, I. Hopefully that does that does that make sense? Uh, do any of our uh, mentors want to add to that? No, um, um, oh, oh. I always hear that all in it. Hear the, the no, L sound. I'm going to see something in, in, in the back room. I don't want to do it with all of them. And they're like, um, an, Ellen, put spray in that. Don't uh, breathe it. Emma. Yes. Emma. One day. You're not on I'm mute. Day. You're not on mute over there. <laughs> Oh, I, I was saying, dang it. No, <laughs> oh, Oodle. Yeah. 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 Don't mess with it. I don't even know how it works. <laughs> okay, that's a good question, though. All right. Any other questions, comments, feedback? All right, ready to uh, take a first stab at a conversation. Let me, let me, let's put the order of people in um, in the chat. So I have 
typed out here a participant. So me, Aunt Carolyn, and then um, let's see, I was trying to see who goes and then Cricket. And then Kath, who goes out, who was going after Cricket? Judith. Judith. You, you use that same cup again next time you drink water. Don't be and then, and then dirty another cup. Uh, Kathy. No, no. Just and who goes right after there. Kathy? Get it right there and you, written, and you know that's yours. We're hearing some uh, background noise. Um, let's my see. My are going crazy over here. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, I hear yeah. My you you probably hear my kids. They're like yelling really loud out there. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm trying to mute. Um, uh, who's after Kathy, or who wants to go after Kathy? Because that's as far as I got. I can go after Kathy, and then it was Tim and Ramon and Kimberly. Okay, so Courtney, Tim, Ramon, and Kimberly. And, and then I know Andrew's here. I see his camera still on, but he had to step away. So um, we'll put Andrew at the end if he jumps back on. Okay, I put it in the chat. So me, Aunt Carolyn, Cricket, Judith, Kathy, Courtney, Tim, Ramon, Kimberly, and Andrew. Okay, so um, if we're doing pairs, then we'll just take turns having the conversation with each other as a pair. So like the first two, then the second two, the next two and so on. So let me scroll down to the conversation. Oops. Oh yeah, the lessons have like little charts and stuff. So if you're a worksheet person, you can always try those. Um, there's even some little cards you could print off and cut out for yourself. Okay, so, and many of you, if you, if you have a, your lesson next to you, you can pull it up to remind yourself. So, but let's see if we remember. So who remembers how to say this in Kiowa? Wonderful. Louder. On day, on day. Yeah. <laughs> oh. How about wonderful, I saw you? Who remembers how to say that? On day, on day, and ball. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> then I will see you again. Who remembers how to say that one? I got him, oi, bonto. Oh. All right. And then, and then for me, it's not understood. Who remembers that? On the high Oh, that's one of our help phrases. On <laughs> your high Okay, and then um, and then we all know how to say yes. Oh, and then me too. No, idle. No, 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 idle. And then uh, let's see. Is there any other ones? I think we went over all of them. Okay, so let's have the first. Um, I see, I'm trying to, if you don't know. Hold on, am I missing something here? That's not understood. Anya Haiga would be, okay. Um, let's see, which one should we use? I guess we'll use this one. Or, should we use this one? Which this sounds like we're just saying I don't know to each other. Is that is that accurate? Grandma Martha, is that how it's supposed to be with this? Oh, which one are you looking at then? Second this box. last, this uh, second box here in the upper uh, right. Mm -hmm. Well, when you converse, that's just your conversation layout from that left side. Actually, it's what it's doing to kind of show you how it's going. If you're going to answer to, 
you know, you got answers for what you say for A and B. Oh, okay. A's the speaker, and then B is um, answering back to you. So it's just a way oh. of thing. So then for this third one, are we just saying Hanya hi got to each other? <laughs> or what does that mean? Hanya hi go. And then the, maybe the next person doesn't even know about it either. So they're just saying that, that um, they don't know also. Okay, okay. That's all so I, I just wanted to make sure. Um, so we'll use this one. And so we'll take turns uh, being A and B. So uh, Aunt Carolyn, do you want to be A? And I'll be B? Oh, so which one? Uh, okay. Yeah. Hande on day and boom. Oh, not all. Then I go to, uh, hey, go on, boy, boom. So, or do I need to answer you some way? I can't carry right. on the conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, you're fine. Just, we'll just read it like it's a script and then we'll take turns saying it. So, yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, go ahead on the second part there. Uh, are you on the conversation oh, layout? Is that where yeah. we are? Yeah, on the second, uh, the second A. <laughs> hey, go, I'm oi, bon, da. Oh, hey, go, I'm oi, bon, da. Huh. Oh, I was going to say, oh. Or is it? I'm doing a note and say that or you're missing it. If you this, don't, this last one, we're just going to say, I don't know to each other. <laughs> so, what's that third one? Hanya Haiga. Hanya Haiga. Ya Tom. Ha. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So let's pass it over to Cricket and Judy. Okay. I guess I, I'll, do you want me to be A or do you want to be A, Judy? I'll be A. Okay. Honda, Honda, and Bon. Oh, not Otto. Hey, God, I'm Oi Bon. Oh, hey, God, I'm Oi Bon. Yan high get. Yan high get. Nope. Yan high get. I got tripped up. Yan high go. Yan high go. Yeah, ha. Yan high go. Yan high go. Oh. All right. Um. Kathy and Courtney. Uh, okay, <clears throat> Courtney, what do you want? Um, go ahead, take away. I got an oil bone, so. Oh, not auto. Uh, that's the wrong one. Oh, wait, you're oh, at the top. Oh, 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 oh. She said, wait a minute. I thought she said the second one. Yeah, yeah she did. I did. Go okay. start, at the, start at the top, Courtney. Oh, okay. Hyundai, uh, Hyundai, and Bon. No, ha, no, Otto. Ha. He got him, oi, Bon, da. Ha, he got him, oi, Bon, da. Ha, hi, nya, hi, ga. Oh, hang your high go. Oh, is it wait? Yeah, hang your high go. <laughs> yeah, hang your high go. <clears throat> oh, so that last, that third um, kind of group is just, mm -hmm. uh, we're both saying I don't know to each other. Hang your high go. Hang your high go. I don't know. No, I was thinking that we were just doing one of them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're doing the whole okay, thing. <laughs> yeah, got the it. whole thing. Okay. Awesome. 
All right, let's go to uh, Tim and Ramon. Hey, Ramon, you want to do A and I'll do B? So that way I can hear it. Paul. On the on the bon. Paul, no, I don't. Hey, go on, boy, bon. Paul, hey, go on, boy, bon. On your high, go. On your high, go. Is it go or go? Go. Go. On your high, go. On your high, go. Go is negative. Oh, oh, none of us know. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't learn a thing. Um, okay. Melody, Melody, Hon when, Hon when we, you and I first talked about that conversation layout, what happened was he took the uh, second, third, and fourth sentences on the left side and put them into that format, like you're, you know, in a conversation with somebody. So it's exactly what's written out there to the left that you're saying in your exercise there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. And we're we're doing so we're just gonna we're saying the whole thing just like a little script. So it's just a little like six mm -hmm. six line script. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh hi Andrew. I don't know if you uh heard us. Hi. <laughs> <Come on in. laughs> okay. So we're practicing um the words here so we have um did you hear the uh the honday own day and bone and the ha um na na or ha na adl and oh, then I, I, oh. bon okay so um that's all we're doing is just reading the script so it's i have uh kimberly and andrew on i put it in the chat um as the last uh group and so um, y'all can decide if you want, who wants to be A and who wants to, go, basically who wants to go first and who wants to respond <laughs> and then just read to each other in Kiowa. All right. Um, yeah, I'll start. Onde onde in bon. Kimberly. She's muted. Oh, Kimberly, uh, we can't hear you. I know. <laughs> um, I couldn't find the screen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. No, so it's not you, it's me. I got too many tabs open. Um <laughs> let's see who what did he say? Um, um, on the end Paul. Paul. Uh no. No um. Uh, he going no 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 that's okay. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. I want uh, the other screen. Honya <laughs> Haigo. Honya Haigo. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> My best one. <laughs> oh. I had to uh, sit in front of a mirror and say, um, hey, got him. Oi, bon thought. Like, I don't know. 50 times before I could say it right because I would always mess it up and I was trying to say it fast enough so that I could uh like get our parents at our child care center to repeat it back to me and like get the kids to repeat it and it took me forever so it's all good you'll get there <laughs> um okay we we made it we got through everyone um any feedback for us from our mentors Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. are we gonna flip it now you want to flip it and everyone who responded is now the asker oh or yeah oh okay 
Uh, so we'll go back. We're still doing this one, so it's the same thing. Uh, let's see. So uh, me and Aunt Carolyn first. Um, I'm trying to remember. You started off last time, so I'll. Uh, on day on day aim bon. Okay, cricket and Judy. On day on day aim bon. You're muted, Judy. Ha oh, no idol. Hey guy, I'm oi bon ta. Ha, oh, hey guy, I'm oi bon ta. Onion high go. Onion high go. Aho. Uh -huh. All right. Um, Kathy and Courtney. Honde on the aim bow. Ha. Na ao. Hega aim oi bonta. Ha. Hega aim oi bonta. Honya haiga. Honya haiga. Oh. Um, Tim and Ramon. The only way I can say this is my puppet voice. Thank you, thank you. How they own they ain't bone. Oh, no title. Hey, go in oin bone, though. Oh, hey, go in oin bone, though. On your high go. Oh, it's all I'm tongue, yes, again. Oh. That's awesome. Um, Kimberly and Andrew. On day on day in bon. Oh, no, I. On day on day in bon. Talk. Oh, you go in boy bon. On your high go. On your high go. Oh. oh, well, we made it. We made it through help phrases and lesson one. Uh, it's eight o'clock. Um, so we I have put the start the stop time as eight o'clock. Um, so we can uh, stop now and kind of close up, or um, we can continue. What, what do y'all think? I have to get off. I'm going to eat. Oh, okay. So we could pick up with yeah, lesson two off. next week. <laughs> um, but uh, Andrew, um, Ramon had a question for you um, fr from a linguistic perspective, and, and I wanted to maybe okay. get your opinion on it. And then, oh. um, and then we'll close up after that. So Ramon. Okay. So uh whenever we were talking about the inflection uh whenever we're asking a question and we're saying that that's common in english i was asking is that only found in english or is that a overall like human reaction um like whenever something's not understood there might be that uh like a physical reaction while saying the word like how in english they say huh like or uh and other ways they might say like oh really but there's like an expression whenever they're saying really or um so i'm just wondering like is the question inflection only found in english or is it a human like 
physical attribute like that is just paired with language like it's body language and uh you know vocal language at the same time um well i guess it's kind of two things it, I, as far as like short little phrases to ask sound like huh or, eh? i think yeah like parker used to say eh? <laughs> um <laughs> and uh that those are pretty universal because it's pretty simple it's like a small thing um but as for i don't do you mean with inflection do you mean changing the pitch of the voice and that sort of thing when you ask a question or yeah yeah um that's not universal um and in kiowa it's it's not something that's really done either um you just put question words in and that does the job and a lot of languages do that english is actually really complicated because we have the change in the inflection and we move things around so the english way is actually really difficult oh uh, okay uh -huh. that's a good question i, I was curious uh -huh. I, I made my best um best guess <laughs> but glad we have a linguist in the house that can help us <laughs> all right awesome well, we made it through our first session and we're working towards that immersion on the 15th. We're going to move towards that. And uh, next week, we'll uh, we'll try for um, lesson two and three. So we'll we'll see if we can do it. Um, I'll, I'll email out lesson three after this. Um, and then I'll also um, email the link to the recording. Um, you can also, the YouTube channel is Learn Kiowa. Um, so it's like YouTube and then it's at Learn Kiowa. Um, if you want to subscribe to that YouTube channel to get all the uh, um, videos um, for the Sunday and the Wednesday sessions. Um, so uh, with that, uh, any other comments, questions, discussion before we wrap up? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I, I do have one. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> on there's so I was going through uh, a hymnal and uh, boy dog yeah dog yeah and here we are okay um oh let me I can't read it in this one uh this song is saying the son of God does things it is it is wonderful the son of God does things it is wonderful the uh don't get me on day on all my guess on me. Um, but on the last verse, let's see. Oh, I gotta pull it up. Um, there's it's written where they're saying, uh, where the land of light is, it is wonderful. <laughs> um, as bless you, Baki. Dom a call day guess all me, but with the CD that is paired with the hymnal, um, it's it's mainly the women that I hear say this, but uh, they say ba king dom all a call day guess all me. And it's and the man say ba king. Yeah, ba king dom a call. And then the but the other the what women say is ba king dom all a call. So there's that all a in there. That might be the all is on the dom. So it's ba king dom al. Yes, ba king dom al. Like all the me. Like all the Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry, oh. also or even. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the number 14 in the hymnal, right? Yes. Yeah. Which one is that? Is that Ralph Cotes? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, his yeah, that CD that he has is, uh, I mean, basically, essentially the same as the book. There's a few songs where there might be a different um, verse that said that's just slightly different, or a couple of words that are slightly different. But yeah, it's essentially the same one. So. Awesome. Uh, Obaha Nayantazan. Oh, aho. All right. Um, well, I should let y'all go. So uh, let's go ahead and do our closing prayer. Um, Tim, Bedoktai. Oh. Aho Doki. Her name Oin me. Dot Palma and Ade. Aho bot ha. Doki. Um aim a ah. They go the tide of day, go yakon ball. Ain't I go ha, be tide of day. Doggy, um bado, a yakon da. On a car on. On a moon, man. Go a dot a heat or doggy. Aho, Obaha. Amen. Aho. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Awesome. Um, so just a note, um, I'd like to ask uh, for our um, elders, our mentors to uh, give us opening prayers. And I'd, la I'd like to ask for um, us as learners to be prepared to give closing prayers. So I know many of us have a prayer that we've practiced and that we've been able to use. Um, but if you don't, uh, feel free to uh, bring a prayer to either the Sunday session uh, so that we can get it translated. Or if you want to email it, um, you know, I can help get it translated with one of our mentors as well. So I just wanted to mention that, um, if that's okay, just so we can all practice our prayers um, throughout our sessions. All right. Well, with that, aho de batha. Appreciate all of you. Hega ba oi bong ta. Hega ba oi tong tai ta. Aho. Oi bong ta. Kimberly. Oh. How's your grandbaby? My grandbaby is finally home. Yay. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> he's bre he's breathing on his own. He didn't have to go home with oxygen. Um, it has been a long, long road, a long two weeks. Oh, so, okay. So um, he um, he's healthy and thriving. So, oh, good. Yeah. Day on day. Day on day. Oh. Have a good evening. Bye. Hey, good boy, Bonta. Oh, love you, Aunt Velma. Oh, no, I don't. Cope Dame Doe. Cope Dame Doe.